actually if you don't have that constraint that's actually uh you guys have actually better guesses than i thought so this another variation of one element i like somebody else to draw uh, another function for me that is going to tell you something that is had something in common but not exactly the same somebody please See if I get this right. Yeah, from left to right. All right. So now we have this uh, solid red approximation to the faint red drawing. Now, what do you see? What is this doing? This actually looks like a least squares by element, right? So, right. So, so now if you look at this function, I mean, it pretty much looks intuitively the least squares fit. The only difference is what? Yes, here this function, the approximating function, does not has to be continuous. Right, the way we approximate that is the same, but like now we don't have to be continuous. So, as a summary, what finite element is doing? It is creating a global version of something, right? So in here is minimization. Actually, today the whole lecture is focused on how finite element does minimization. And the minimization is more general than the minimization here. Here, we, the minimization is minimizing the least squares error between the function approximating and the approximating function. In general, what finite element is minimizing is a kind of energy, right? Because the physical world, there are a lot of applications in which the physical world is trying to minimize a certain kind of energy. And that's, for example, why finite element is so common in structural applications is because for almost any structural application, you can find out that the differential equation you are describing the structure is actually formulated so that it minimizes, for example, the total energy, the uh, elastic energy stored in the structure given certain constraints okay so in general finite element is first uh, seeing a lot of applications in the type of minimization statements uh, for example minimizing the least squares error as in here and uh, minimizing all kinds of energies and then next lecture we'll talk about a generalization of finite elements that's the statement is more mathematical it's a, it's very similar to the minimization of energy but it's written in a more general way as a variational statement okay and that's actually turns out to be more general than minimization of energy so for any minimization of energy problem you can write it in a variational statement but there are problems there are differential equations you can solve using finite element that can be written as a variational statement, which we generally call the weak form okay, of a partial differential equation. I mean, the weak form is a form of, uh, uh, it's, it's basically, you can think of it as, as a variational form of a partial differential equation. As soon as you can write the PD into a weak form, finite element is able to solve it. And we're actually going to introduce a software package called uh, uh, Comsol. That's actually used a lot. Uh, uh, it's, it's particularly popular in research. In industry, people also use it, but it's, it's particularly uh, used in, in academia and in research. And the reason is uh, it can solve any, I mean, almost any equations written in the weak form. So basically, you need to write down what is the weak form you wanted to solve. Okay, you draw the domain, you choose how to match the domain, and you click a button, and the weak form is solved. So one of the big things you learn here is to how to formulate the problem you are interested in solving into a weak form, so that 
an almost automatic software like console is going to solve it for you. And uh, uh, so let's start today with uh, uh, minimization of energy. 